YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Darice's Daily Deets, where I discuss everything from beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And on today's video, I am going to be telling you what I got from the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. I'm so excited. I just picked up kind of, I didn't pick up a lot, just a few things, and I just can't wait to share them with you guys. But before I do that, please remember to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not already, and make sure that you hit the notification bell, excuse me, notification bell, <laughs> so you can know when I upload videos and you can be notified as soon as I do. And without further ado, I am going to go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so first things first. Um, I've never actually done one of these videos. Well, I have, but not for, I guess, one store. So this is a first time for me with that. So the first thing that I got was this Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. Oh, I didn't even know it had Sweet Tea in it when I picked it up. But yeah, I picked up one of these and I believe these were on sale. Wait, well, I had a coupon too, but I want to say these were 75% off because it's looking like everything's coming up to like the $2.21 or 91 cent range, which was pretty good. And it, oh my goodness, it smells amazing, guys. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. And I don't normally gravitate towards their creams just because normally when I have a coupon, these aren't included. So I thought this would be the perfect time to go ahead and stock up on some of these. So yeah, that's the first thing that I got. Now following suit with the trend of creams, I also picked up another one. Because like I said, I don't normally take advantage of getting the creams um, during the regular you know, season and well, besides the sale time. So I definitely want to make sure that I had got uh, some of these and this is the pink chiffon ultra sheer body cream 24 hour moisture and then I, I'm sorry I'm about to be smelling these yeah yeah this one smells amazing as well has kind of like a fruity scent to it but not too loud so that's what I liked about that one okay so that, those were the only two creams I got and then uh, as far as lotion I also went ahead and got the Shea and vitamin E body lotion and the scent Pearberry, which I thought smelled amazing. It had like the, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Did not know that it was going to do that, but it had like, um, it has like a really light pear with a kind of a hint of berry scent. And I don't like real loud fruity things. So this is another one that wasn't too loud. And, you know, was, of course, on sale. And I want to say they were all 75% off. And now the next group of items that I purchased was the shower gels. Because you can never have too many shower gels. I mean, this is the part that I was the most, you know, excited about. Because this is the products that I actually use up the fastest. I feel like that the lotions, they tend to linger because they last so long. I think I'm down like one bottle from when I did a huge uh, shopping uh I guess it wasn't a haul, but at the time it was just like a big shopping trip when they had their last sale. And yeah, and I still am, I still have one bottle left. And that was like, when I say maybe two or three years ago, and that was the last time I actually had to shop because I got so many at that time. So this time I wasn't that bad. But anyways, on to the shower gels. The first one I got was in the scent Pearberry, which I just said that I had the lotion as well in that scent. And then the next scent that I got was the vanilla, oh, excuse me, Wild Mad Madagascar Vanilla, which is going to be the most different out of everything. This is one that's the only one that I would say is not going in the direction of more of a fruity floral scent. This is really a, just a sweet, light I just love the smell of this one. It was really different. And it was the only one that they had left in this one at the particular location I was at. So that's why I wasn't able to get more of them. But I am really excited to shower with this. And then, lastly, like I said, I didn't do too bad this time. I got the Country Apple, which is a staple at Bath & Body Works. Um, this is one of the ones that they bring back every time they're having the sale. So a lot of, excuse me, if you guys don't know, they bring back a lot of their discontinued fragrance fragrances that were really popular during this time. So it's really a good time to stock up if you haven't, because this Country Apple is 
it's like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. Even the guy at the register, he said the favorite one that I've got out of all the you know items that you purchased today is the country apple. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I should go back and get more. <laughs> I don't know. So I started there, but the sale is still going on. So I may go back and pick up some more items. And then of course, the last category of items that I purchased, and I just um, put this in my favorites video. So if you haven't watched that one, make sure you go ahead and check out my May faves video because I go into a lot more detail. But they, they are the wallflowers. And my favorite scent right now, and I don't know if, um, I'm pretty sure that I talked about this in the phase. I'm not sure, I can't remember the scent that I mentioned, but I do know that my favorite right now is this Waikiki Beach Coconut. And I think these were on sale for like $2.95 already. And then, um, you know, I had a coupon on top of that, which brought it down to about $2.21 each. This here for the summer smells amazing. So if you have not got your hand on this scent yet, I really highly recommend you try it out. I mean, for me, it leaves my home just smelling so... I just love it. It smells so like, it just reminds me of being on an island or a beach or something of that um, to that effect. So I really truly do like this scent. So I got this scent and then I also went ahead and Mango Mai Tai, which also is, I've just started using this one. I don't like it as much as the Waikiki Beach Coconut, but it does, you know, it also smells good. I mean, I can, I can stand it. It's not like a bad smell or anything, but Nothing so far has topped this Waikiki Beach Coconut for me as far as summer fragrances. Now, when we get into fall, I have a whole nother set of fragrances that I love for fall, but we will talk about that in another video. But right now, yes, um, if you can stock up, definitely do. I'm not sure if the wallflowers are still on sale because these weren't even really part of the semi-annual sale. They were just, you know, randomly on sale. But other than that, that is all of the items that I went ahead and picked up. I just want to go ahead and share those with you in case you were thinking about going. And for this year, I don't know. It seems like the sale, and I don't know if I went too early in the sale, it just didn't seem like the deals were like, you know, as good as I remember them being. I know that some of the, you know, lotions and everything were 75% off, but I feel like there, there sometimes are sales that make them around the same price. So I'm not sure, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments. You let me know if you thought that this sale was, you know, great, or if you thought that maybe it was lacking in a few areas, or, you know, if you thought that you got some amazing deals. I'm not saying that I didn't get any deals, but I just don't. I don't know, I feel like before it was a little more of a variety or I don't know. So yeah, so that was it. That's all I want to go ahead and share with you guys today. I'm so happy that you went ahead and watched this video and thanks again. Bye-bye.